The conversation around gun violence in Charlotte usually centers around violent crimes like murder or robbery. The CDC says three out of every 10 deaths with a gun are homicides, but six out of every 10 deaths with a gun are suicides. WCNC Charlotte's Shamaria Morrison sat down with a group of men coming to Charlotte to seek solutions for mental health in black men and its connections to violence and suicides. Talking about mental health can come with a stigma, especially among black men. This group is looking for change. We are each other's greatest asset. They're trying to change the attitude towards mental health conversations one city at a time with roundtable talks called Just Heal, Bro. Who's protecting us and why shouldn't it be important to everybody, you know, for us to be just as safe and thriving just as well if, you know, and equal to everybody else. A study published by the American Medical Association reports adolescent males and black males have experienced the highest increase in suicide attempts between 1991 and 2019. I think that it's surprising to the world when you think about the corner that we've had to sort of exist in as black men and not really having a safe space and not even being viewed as a individual in certain circumstances, right? CDC data shows black men don't account for the highest amount of suicides with a gun, but they do disproportionately account for most gun deaths in America. Protecting the lives of black men can start with mental health. During the pandemic, it was one of the times that many brothers said, man, I feel like we've got more, we get, receive more empathy in death than we do in life. If this speaks to you, they have this advice about not being alone. We know, we know we're world changers. We know we're game changers. Sometimes that's why people don't prioritize us, but that's at the same time exactly why they should. The group wants to reach whoever they can before it's too late. Shamari Morrison, WCNC Charlotte.